Today we'll be looking at a brand new model that MTH just released. It is the CNO 2104 Texas type locomotive. Um, I, I was looking for videos before I got mine to see if anybody else had posted any videos. So we're going to have him post a review here on this guy for you guys. Now this guy is product number 20-3850-1. Uh, this is an uncatalogued 2022 locomotive that came out with last year, just delivered in January of 2023. Um, this guy features accurate detail, decast or diecast body, chassis, tender, authentic paint scheme, real coal load, diecast trucks, hand painted engineer, and fireman figures, painted cab and back head gauges, uh, legible builder's plate, metal handrail and metal whistle and bell, tender truck chains, scale operating couplers, uh, remote control proto coupler. Uh, it's got a constant voltage LED headlight, LED firebox glow, LED marker lights, LED number boards, LED interior lights, Operating LED backup light. Uh, it's a Proto Sound 3, of course, since it just came out. This unit measures at 30 and a half inches by 4 and a half by 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. Operates on 072 curves. Um, so the T1 was made by the CNO Railroad. Um, it was not the first 210 Ford to come out there, but it was built by the Lima Locomotive Works and. Uh, I believe the only surviving 210 Ford type built by Lima left is the Texas type or Texas and Pacific type uh, steam locomotive thing for the Texas and Pacific Railroad. There's no CNO T1s left. Uh, the Chesapeake in Ohio tested an Erie Berkshire and then stretched that design by adding one more driving axle creating the 210 Ford. The T1s were equipped with trailing truck boosters that exerted 15 215-275 pounds of track tractive effort. They could pull the same 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 train as a uh, 288-2H7 and do it faster. The locomotives mainly operated between Russell, Kentucky, and uh, Ohio, with a few ending up in Eastern Virginia. They were rated at 13,500 tons or 160 loaded coal hoppers. They supported most heating surfaces as many two-cylinder steam locomotives with combined heating surface, uh, with a combined heating surface of 9,654 square feet. Despite the overall success, the long wheelbase made it difficult to properly counterbalance the scheme as the drivers were unevenly in were unevenly aligned in service. Uh, later in the T1's career, they rode roughly and pounded the tracks. And a special gang stood by at the bottom of one of the long grades to repair them. Uh, in 1942, the Pennsylvania Railroad based 125 of their J1s off the CNO T1s. Um, there was one T1 3020 that suffered a boiler explosion on May 12th of 1948 in Ohio. Uh, the engineer, fireman, and front brakeman were killed. And they were retired, the, they retired the T1s in 1952 in favor of diesel. By 1953, all were retired and all were scrapped. So, I just guys got a little bit of background on this thing. We're going to get a closer look at this thing. So, let me get you guys off the stand here, and we will get close up with this engine to take a personal look. Very, very detailed. Um, it does have some different similarities. They only made two models of this locomotive in the Proto Sound 3 version here. Um, they did catalog... They did catalog one in Protosound 2. There's all your switches and everything. If you can find one. 
I did per did, did catalyze one and uh person on two person. But right now everybody at least most of the dealers dealers for MTH have a couple of these guys in stock. Or at least one. Be it a new engine. So overall, this guy is a very detailed locomotive. I mean look at all the brass pieces there. The bell could have been a little bit brighter, but I'm not gonna complain. Overall, it's just a very nice model with all the piping and stuff down the side there. Sorry if I'm moving a lot for you guys. But we're going to get you back on the stand here. And we're going to get this thing fired up. Because I know it's everybody's favorite part of the video is when we fire these things up. Properly hear me now while I fire this locomotive up. I put the mic on. So I might sound a little bit closer, but we're going to work with it. So I know this is everybody's favorite part of the video. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see what she sounds like. Got a typical MTH start up to it. Um, let's start with the bell. We'll go ahead and move on to the whistle. A very deep tone aggressive whistle, I like it. Got some special effects there. So every uh, Protosound two locomotive or Protosound three locomotive, my bad, uh, does have a quillable whistle on it, and if the diesel's got a quillable horn, so we'll fire that up here. Very nice. It is equipped with coupler slacks. We'll go through the sickle sounds here. Into sound one. Uh, Let's grease up the side rod. Idle sequence one. Forward whistle. Reverse whistle. Crossing whistle. As we have some more dialogue there in the background. Very nice. Let's see if we got anything else on here. We got. We're going to take coal and water here. In the sound, too. And I could go on and on for days with these things. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a very nice locomotive, so um, we're going to go ahead and get everything right, rolling here and uh, get some moving videos here for you, and we'll be back with the wrap-up. So give me one second here, we'll get you off the, off the uh, stand here, and we'll get it moving.
Alright, so that'll wrap today's video up. You guys got to watch this beast make its way around the layout here. It's a very awesome piece. Um, I hope this guy, I hope this video here will help you decide whether you're on the fence of getting the CNO or the Pennsylvania, whatever it may be, whatever one you're on the fence about getting. Um, I definitely recommend this CNO, even though it doesn't have whistle steam. I wish it did, but um, it's definitely a good model. So uh, if you guys think about getting it and want to get it after watching this video, I think Mr. Muffin Strain still has a couple in stock. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in to our video today. Everybody enjoy the rest of their day. If you're not subscribed, make you subscribe and hit that little bell for more notifications. And like the video and leave a comment in the comment section below. Till next time, we see you back here in the attic. Everybody, you have a good day.